Hey, welcome back to another episode of Brie on Books. This is Brie from the Westford Public Library in Westford, Vermont. And if we got some good fiction for you. So these are new adult fiction books at the Westford Public Library. And hopefully there'll be something that you want to come check out. Okay. So the first book we're starting with is called White Teeth by Kristen Arnett. Um, and this is about a, a story of two women who um, are in a family and the mothers have a very interesting son. Um, and as he grows and kind of, uh, we don't know if something is wrong with him um, or you know he gets violent at the end, it's kind of breaking apart what they are hoping to um, have, which is a perfect um, double mother family. And so they're going for perfection in their lives and he's kind of messing it up. Um, so you might want to figure out What's Going On with White Teeth, or With Teeth by Kristen Arnett. Okay. Oh, the, the summer fun reader girl, Ellen Hildebrand, is back with another book called Golden Girl. If you're looking for a beach read, any of Ellen Hildebrand's books would work for you. Um, they're always set in Nantucket or Martha's Vineyard, and it just feels like the perfect book to read on a beach, and this one is no different. Golden Girl by Ellen Hildebrand. Okay. Psychological Thriller Bath House um, by P.J. Vernon. This book's getting a lot of buzz about it. It's um, a story in which um, a gay man visits a bathhouse. Something goes desperately wrong. And um, in that kind of push and pull to figure out what goes wrong and to kind of ignore what he's still kind of coming to terms with his own sexuality. Um, we get that push and pull with a lot of psychological thriller built into Bathhouse by P.J. Vernon. Okay, switching to historical fiction, um, we have a wonderful uh, new book by powerhouse historical fiction writer Beatrice Williams. You, She did The Summer Wives. She's contributed to Lilac Girls. She's written a lot of other um, books and World War II is kind of her thing. Um, this is The Woman in Moscow. So this takes place in 1948, a little after um, World War II, but about um, an, a, a diplomat whose husband vanishes. They're in Moscow. There's some spies. There's some intrigue. Uh, Soviet era uh, politics and um, intrigue in that. So you might want to check out Our Woman in Moscow by Beatrice Williams. Another blockbuster summer book, That Summer by Jennifer Weiner. Um, Jennifer Weiner is, again, one of those kind of, I hate to say chick lit authors, but she totally is. Uh, this is a book you want to take to the beach, you want to have sticking out of your bag and grab because you can pick it up and get lost in it any moment at the beach. And you can put it down and you can come back to it and you'll still kind of remember where you were. Um, so That Summer by Jennifer Weiner or Weiner. Um, and she wrote Big Summer last summer, so maybe you can go on a summer reading theme. Big Summer that summer, but you can check that one out. Okay, totally switching gears um, is the psychological thriller The Woman in the Purple Skirt by Natsuko Ayamura. And she is a, kind of a psychological thriller writer um, in Japan. This book is kind of been compared to... Um, Rear Window, Parasite. Um, it's got an Asian, you know, theme. It takes place in, um, well, let's see. Well, we don't actually know because some of, it's the woman in the purple skirt, the woman in the yellow cardigan. Some of our characters are shadowed. Um, so we don't know exactly when, where, what is going on in this book. But if you like that, like re in Rear Window, if you like um, books by Otessa Mottfeg, which are kind of dark, um, then you'll really love The Woman in the Purple Skirt. Okay, and I think we'll continue with our last four on our next video.